welcome to online lectures of UPRTOU. Today we are going to explore another important topic of process methodology that is report writing. Report writing is very crucial because what our researcher is doing, his work is going to be presented in the form of report writing. So whatever exercise a researcher used to do in three years, five years span, it is all is being presented by the help of a report which he is going to present. Now what is report? A report is a document containing comprehensive information of a specific subject. As you all know that a researcher has got a certain topic on which his research work is based on. So it is a comprehensive set of knowledge which he shares with the audience about the specific subject or specific topic. A report is formal statement of the result of an investigation or of any matter on which definite information is required. So a report writing is a process, a report is a process by which a researcher used to set the formal statement of problem and he used to analyze that problem and give the solution and suggestion in his work for the development of the society as a whole. Report are documents which presents a specific focused content often the result of an experiment, investigation or inquiry to a specific audience. As you all know that research is a very comprehensive activity which a researcher used to do. Now here the researcher used to investigate that what is the problem and on the basis of that problem he sets a problem statement in the form of hypothesis and test that by the help of different statistical tools. Whatever conclusion he made with the help of that analysis he is going to present that in the form of his report. Purpose of the report. Why a researcher used to present his report? First, to give the information. What he has done in the last three years, five years. From when he has started doing his research work to his completion, what he has done. From where he has collected the data, how he has analyzed the data and how he has interpreted the data and gave the proper suggestion to the welfare of the society as a whole. To record events for decision making. As you all know that each and every research based on certain assumptions, on certain problems. So here, to record events for a decision making, a good research always leads to a decision making. There are different alternatives and a researcher used to find the best alternative for his research work. Taking and making decision for the best is all what a researcher is going to do in his research work. To recommend specific actions. Now, after analysis, there are conclusions and suggestions. The researcher used to discuss that what is the problem statement, how he can overcome that problem and what are the conclusion he has made and according to that conclusion he has suggested certain suggestions. So here the purpose of report, the purpose of report writing is this that the first is he has to collect the information and on the basis of that information he has to make a good decision and on the basis of that decision he is going to recommend certain suggestions or specific actions. Now, what are the steps which is being required to prepare a good report? So the first step is define the problem. So as soon as a researcher used to start his research work, the first thing he used to do is review of literature. By extensive reading, by extensive use of review of literature, he used to find a research gap. And on the basis of that research gap, he is going to define that this is the area in which he is going to explore his research work. So on the basis of that area, on the basis of that review of literature, he is used to set his research problem. 
that this is the problem on which I am going to confine my research work, my research activity. Then the second one is gather the necessary information. Now he has set the information, he has set that what are the problems he is going to face. According to that problem statement, he is going to collect the information from the respondents by the help of questionnaire, schedule or observation method. He can use primary data as well as secondary data for gathering of the information. Analyze the information. Now how analysis is going to be done? Analysis has been going to be done by the help of different statistical tools, by the help of different models, by the help of different skills. If you are going to do a behavioral studies, you have to go with the different behavioral skills. Likert scale, multidimensional skills are available for you to analyze your research work. And on the basis of analysis, you have to organize the information. You have to gather the information, you have to classify that data, you have to edit the data, you have to tabulate the data, and you have to present that data in a simpler form to the respondent. And after that, you are going to write the report. Means from framing of the problem to the analysis, you have to do it. And after completion of all these four steps, you are going to write your report in a specific manner. Now, a structure of a report. What is the structure of a report? When you make a report, what are the things which must be contained in that report? The first thing is a title. Title means on which topic you are doing your research work. The topic must be simple, it must be understandable, it must be in a manner framed that it should be understood by all the audience who are directly or indirectly related with that research work. Table of content. Now table of content means that what are the tables you have used in your research work, where you have used drafts, where you have used different figures. You have to write it down and after completion you have to make a table of content and you have to write that in page number this much, this table is there. In page number this, this graph is there. In page number this, this figure is there. Means a researcher used to present each and every figure, each and every diagram, each and every graph in the table of content. Then you have got abstract. Abstract is just a summary, a brief summary of whole research work in 500 to 1000 words. That what you have done, from where you have started and from where you have finished. It is just a framework which a respondent used to give to his users. Then introduction. Now from here your research work starts. You have to introduce, if you have got a topic, the topic is being contains different areas. So whatever areas, for example, if you have taken in topic an analytical study of human resource management in the Indian software industry. So here, in introduction, you have to write about human resource management. You have to write about the IT industries because the topic is saying that a researcher is going to do a research in human resource management and in the area of IT companies, right? So here in introduction, you have to introduce about all the topic which is being there. Then literature review, you have got the topic. Now you have to go and search that what are the previous studies which is being done in that specific area and what is the difference in the study which is being previously done and the study you are going to do. The difference is known as research gap. So you have to write a research gap that this is a study done by this person in this year and what I am going to do is this topic and in this specific area. Then analysis and investigation. After introduction, you are going to write chapter number one, chapter two, chapter three, 
where you are going to elaborate the different dimensions, definitions, models of that specific topic, that specific area. Then you have to collect the data. Collection of data has been done by the help of questionnaire schedules, interview methods. There are different other methods. You can also use secondary data. And on the basis of that data, you are going to do your analysis by the help of statistical tools. If it is a non-parametric study, you have to use non-parametric tools. If it is a parametric study, you are going to use parametric tools. Then on this, you are going to analyze your data. And after analysis, you are going to say that your hypothesis is being accepted or not. If you have used a hypothesis, if you haven't have used a hypothesis, no problem. You directly go with the findings. That this point, number one, this is the analysis of this point number one and this is the finding of this point number one. So like this, you have to write findings of each and every point you have mentioned in your research work. Then discussion. Now discussion is very important. Why? Because whatever findings you have got, you have to explore that how you have concluded that finding. How you have come to conclusion that this is the finding which we are going to do. So here you have to discuss that this is the framework, this is the model which we have used and this is the findings from where we are going to get our conclusion. So conclusion is very important because here a researcher used to conclude that for this problem this is the best conclusion which he has got in his research work. Suggestions. After concluding thoughts, he has to suggest that if this is the problem, this is the analysis, this is the discussion, this is the conclusion, and for this conclusion, I am going to suggest this point. So, in a good study, conclusion and suggestion always used to be vice versa. In a good study, conclusions and suggestions used to complementary each other, right? So here conclusions and after conclusion you are going to write suggestion. Whatever researcher used to feel that this is the best which one can use to do for the best outcome is the suggestion, right? So after suggestion, limitations. Limitations is also very important. Why? Because the future researcher doesn't know that what are the limitations which a researcher used to face. So here, the researcher used to write in limitation that what is the area he has explored, why there is a time constraint, there is an economical constraint, whatever problems he has faced, he used to write and mention over here that this is a limitation of his study. And after that, references and appendices. Means, references, from where you have taken the help of the different view of literature. Where you have got the matter. If you have taken the definition, you have to give the proper reference. Referencing should be done in a different styles. There are different styling methods which is being adopted while taking the references. And if there is appendices, you require you have certain things which you want to show. For example, questionnaire, what questionnaire you have drafted. You should mu must put it in the annexure portion. If you have got certain charts, secondary data, any annual report, any pictures, you can put it in the annexures because this is very useful for the user researchers and the audience who are being benefited by that research work. So these are the structure which on which a proper report is being laid on. Now, good report contains. For a good report, a researcher should have a proper and clear frame of mind. He must write what he thinks. Thinking and presentation should be in a proper manner. The first one is clear topic. The topic which you have selected for a research work should be very clear. Clear crystal. It should must have a direction that what you are going to do, whether it is an analytical study, 
it is a descriptive study it is an experimental study it is an explorative study it is an historical study it is an empirical study whatever it is you must have to mention over there comparative study whatever you are going to do there must be a clear concept and it should be placed it should be in the topic the topic should be very much clear the topic must contain the area of the study with special reference to uttar pradesh with special reference to north india with special reference to south india with special reference to india so all these things must be presented in the topic the first thing is that you must have a clear topic a topic which should be understand by the audience second lucid language the language which a researcher is using to present his research work should be very simple he should use the words which is very simple and which is being understand by the audience proper audience now as i have taken example analytical study of human resource management in the indian software industry so here audience will be what who will be the audience audience will be the person who is in in it industry or a student of mba or all those who are going to directly or indirectly with management and commerce so if i am going to present this research to a person who is from scientific background it is of no use so you have to present your report to the proper audience if you are doing your research in scientific areas your audience will be the people who are in scientific area if you are doing your research in arts and commerce your audience will be arts person from arts and commerce then relevant findings the findings must align with the topic with the problem you have taken if your finding doesn't matches with your problem then there is a research gap you must have taken or edited data in a manner which is known as malefic then proper illustrations whatever graphs charts analysis you are doing it should be properly illustrated it must be properly numbered it must be taken in a very simple form which should be understand by the audience indexing and references indexing is another very important topic so whatever charts you are placing from where you are taking the references each and every should be everything should be properly mentioned over there whether in footnotes or whether in in notes in so in some research work researcher used to put the references in footnotes in some research work they go to end notes after each chapter they are going to put their references then graphical representation whatever chart i have told you in the previous lecture that there are different graphs which is being used so graphs bar graph pie graph histogram there are different types of graphs so what you are presenting it should be in a proper manner if it is a histogram you must be using probabilistic model so whatever model you are taking probabilistic non probabilistic according to that you have to select your graph and you have to present your graph in a very simple manner which is being understood by the audience free of typing and grammatical errors this is very important a researcher should always used to concerned with this point that whatever work you are going to do it should be errorless there must be no grammatical mistake and there must be no typing mistakes so this is the step this is the content which a good report used to have now why does report sometimes fail we have done our work in a very honest way we have followed business sorry we have followed research ethics we have 
followed each and every steps which is being there for a good research. But why our report failed? The first point is overall message is not clear. Means whatever a researcher wants to convey is not clear to the audience. What he is writing and what the audience is understanding has got a difference. So here the language which is, is, he is using is very important. So the first thing is this, that that thinking of a researcher and the presentation should have a similar aura. Clear? Second, report is badly structured. Hypothesis framing. Sometimes a researcher doesn't know that what is null hypothesis and what is alternate hypothesis. As you all know that null hypothesis is always being framed when we say that there is no difference between the universe and our sample. Pointing of a system, the problem you are taking and the problem which you are taking and ordering of that point. Point one has certain problems, but for suggestion and conclusion, you are giving the point, the relevant point at point number five, six, seven. So it's of no use. You have taken point one, you have analyzed that point one, you have discussed that point one, you have concluded that point one, and you have tested the point one. This is the best way of presenting your report. Second problem, second point, second analysis, second discussion, second conclusion, second suggestion. Third problem, you have to go to write third discussion, third conclusion, third suggestion. So it should be in a similar manner. It must be simplified. Then report is too long. 500 pages, 600 pages, 300 pages, copying from here, pasting from there. So all these things are there. In relevant matter you are taking. You are doing a research in management and you are taking all the irrelevant matter over there. No. Topic and according to those topic, you are going to select your matter. And that too of the present era. Take two, three, four definitions, take one, two, three models over there and simplify your research. The research should be of 150 to 250 pages. Right? Another inappropriate language for intended audience. The words you are using, the words which you are using should be very simple. It should be properly defined. Any abbreviations you are using, it should be properly given and mentioned over there. So whatever research work you are going to do, the language should be very simple. Then report is boring, does not engage the readers. You have done a very good work, but the way of presentation is not good. So automatically no one is going to read it. So there must be an interest. A researcher has to create an interest for audience in the research work. And this interest has been created by the help of different diagrams, charts, different structures which you can use over there. This helps the audience to understand and to have an interest in that work. And the last word is, report is full of grammatical and spelling errors. So again, I have told you that if a researcher has got a grammatical or topological research problems, it is of no use. So last one is very important because if you have got spelling errors, grammatical errors, automatically no one is going to read your research work and it's of no use. So these are the points on which our research work used to fail, our report used to fail. So for a proper and a good research, a researcher should use these all points, consider these all points, so to have an impressive impact on the audience. So report writing is very important because by a proper presentation of a report, a researcher can put his impact on the 
audience as a whole. I hope you have understood. Thank you.